Hey loves and welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I got this wig install video. Yes, 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 I got more of these coming very soon. And this wig right here, let me tell y'all, she is synthetic. She's literally a side part only, so she only has lace right here. And there's like a little bit of lace in the front. And she is so bomb. Like, look at this color. Like, you're not going to tell me this looks like a wig. This looks very much natural on me. <laughs> and I'm about to dye my hair this color because it looks so freaking good. She is from Color Bomb. I got this. Um, I forgot exactly what website. It might be Sam's. On Sam's, yeah, maybe. I think I paid around thirty dollars, thirty something, almost forty dollars for it, or maybe forty on the money. So uh, she's cheap, but she is long. She is long. She has body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. She's super cute. The only thing that might be a little bit annoying is that the curls are only in the front. And then when you get to like this back part, like it's literally all straight. And then the ends are just like a little flipped. But it doesn't bother me at all. I'll be showing you guys how I installed her. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. And always keep in mind that the links will be in the bio. If you want to support me, if you want to follow me on Instagram, or if you just want to buy the wig, everything is down there. So go take a look real quick. Hey loves. So here is the wig. She's a beautiful ash blonde color. So this is the Kimani wig. And it's in the color 3D RFF sandstone blonde so on the website it's actually gonna say 3d rf ssbl because of the abbreviation but here's the construction of the wig so she barely even has lace and you're gonna see me talk about this um throughout the video how it's kind of annoying or whatever and this is the lace right here so the knots are pretty noticeable but the lace itself is a pretty good color and yeah, so with my hair already washed and blow dried, I take my got to be glued with a little bit of hairspray and a brush. And I brush that back and blow dry it just so that my edges um, aren't moving underneath my cap. And I don't have to glue them down or anything. Feel me? So yeah, just braid my hair from the back. So in the two sections that I had already had. And I do this because I don't want to do start the braid in the front of my head because it's going to have that bump right there so here's the braid done and i just twist them both up in the back nice and flat and put some bobby pins in there so i can stay flat so this part right here <laughs> leave a comment down below if you guys be struggling to put your wig cap on because this wig cap right here was so tight y'all like look at me struggling yo <laughs> that doesn't even look like me so i just cut my little ears out and i slid them baddies out and yeah and you know it's best to do this before anything because it really helps to secure those side burns so with my got to be glue again i put them on around the perimeter of my hairline pretty close because i don't want to have like excess lace and i just use some hairspray just to really have that like wig cap secured and it could really melt into the skin so grabbing my comb with the little skinny part I'm applying a lot of pressure so that it could lay nice and flat on my scalp okay and then now I just let it dry and I take some got to be I mean got to be my ghost bond glue and I wanted to put a little layer but I ended up putting it too much so as you can see here I'm like scraping it off and wiping it on a tissue so I'm just like this is basically just to have more security on the wig cap and just start off my glue layers basically and then i smooth as best as i can and once it's dried that's when i start to cut the wig cap and i know it's dry because right here is clear and it's not white like this so as you can see that that wig cap was so tight bro so i'm just gonna cut that and basically this cut that i'm doing right now is kind of like a rough draft so i'm just really cutting as 
close as I can without doing anything extra but then I'm gonna go in and pick up at like the wig cap and basically kind of get it closer to my hair because I don't want like right here and picking it up and cutting some more because I don't want to have extra lace you don't want your your wig cap to go all the way to your forehead so I clean my forehead off to make sure I don't have no glue on there and I start with my first layer I do three layers of glue and yeah this is a really small layer you want to keep them thin and I'm just pressing down and when I move it back like when I move the brush back the comb not the brush <laughs> the comb back on my head I'm really just um, spreading the product out but as you can see I'm always moving forward and I'm moving with a lot of pressure so that the, the lace not the lace the wig cap can lay really flat and you don't see the the beginning of from where it goes from a skin to wig cap if that makes any sense so this right here like you can see i'm really really pressing down on it so it could lay nice and flat and once it's clear that means it's dry so i got my little wig and i'm basically gonna just plop her on and <coughs> i just use my hand to like secure her and of course i do go in with the comb afterwards but i'm, I'm making sure i'm not applying it too forward because you don't want your wig on your forehead you want it on your hair and this part right here i wanted to slow it down because i wanted to show you how at the top part it looks like scalp and then on the sides like around my ear it looks super harsh so if you have to play back so you can see that i just wanted to show you guys that i wanted to show you how the wig kind of the lace it's only for like a centimeter it's crazy so it's only like a little bit of lace and then it goes into like not necessarily the tracks but it's like another kind of material that you just can't pluck so i just put my scarf on and i had two scarves and i want to show you guys like this wig is long she gets in my belly button do you see her okay and i'm over here feeling myself because the blonde is coming very soon okay period period sis <laughs> So now I was trying to pluck her, but like I said, it's super hard to pluck her because there's no lace to pluck from. But um, as you can see right here, I didn't put that much glue and it wasn't really sticking down right there. So all I do when that happens is put some on the back of my hand and, you know, slip some under and secure that. And I want to show you guys how I did my edges, but my camera died. So, yeah. All right, guys. So this right here is the wig. This is how she came out. I mean, honestly, the thing about this wig is that you can't really pluck it, especially not like over here, because it gets like, it's like this much like actual lace, and then it starts like coming in more. So like right here, that like the track is like right there, like there's barely any lace. I had to kind of like finesse with the baby hairs this baby hair right there looks very weird like if i do like this but of course i'm wearing it like this so it looks valid but you know the knots is a little bit noticeable but right here i love this part like she's giving me a little bit of scalp but like as you can see like right when it gets dark that's exactly where the track starts so i can't even like pluck it or anything but she's super cute. I love this color. I honestly really want to do this color in real life. I feel like it suits me very, very well. So if you guys see me with some ash blonde soon, um, then my business. But <laughs> yeah, she's super cute. Um, I tried to explain as best as I could in this video, but of course, um, like I said, I was in class while I was trying to install this wig and after that I got out of class I just wasn't in the mood to talk. So, um I just let it run through And yeah, I hope the voiceover is a good enough, but yeah, I'm totally in love with this wig I feel like anyone can pull this wig off if you, you know, you lay it down real good and you make some really good edges you'll be valid like you don't even have to do much of this way because i didn't do anything at all to it and i was so surprised about that because 
I would at least pluck it. And like this wig, I feel I feel like it needs to be plucked. Like it's like that kind of wig, but it still looks very very good. So if you're looking to buy a wig for the Lolo that is synthetic, I mean no one goes out and goes and buy a synthetic wig. I mean. Of course there's people like that in the world yes but people are almost always looking for human hair but like this hair is super soft she barely 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 sheds the only thing that i would say is that she is very shiny so you can kind of tell like it's synthetic but it's not like a cheap synthetic look to it so if you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a little something please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and always make sure to follow and leave a comment down below if you guys want to see anything um so my next video hair video it might be on another like around 40 dollars ish wig but from amazon so that's gonna be a real interesting one because that wig is just is interesting so we'll see how we pull that one off but this one i think i pulled this one off so good yes yeah my birthday is at 12 um today's the 23rd so it's tomorrow the 24th is my birthday i hope to have posted this video at least by the 24th um so yeah and i have another video coming very soon which is my foundation routine <laughs> that's literally gonna come right after this video but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed like i said like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one